so and it has this carport but it's one of these homes that just keeps on going and going so you walk right in we're in just a formal living room newer bamboo floors and just off to the right just I love the wall it just kind of opens into the dining room here tile floors and here's the kitchen Now, there's like two wings. This is the center of the house, and you've got two separate areas to go. So we're going to go to the left first and check out the bedrooms. So you've got the retro tile bathroom. Which I love the wood and the pink. This is cool. It really is. Because this, you know, if you wind up updating some things, you kind of keep this as like this flashpoint in a good way. Bedroom number one, and that's new carpet. The home has storm windows all around it. Oh, nobody needs to see me. And then bedroom number two, fresh carpet again, or new carpet, excuse me. And then here in the master, so it's corner, so you have the two windows, and an updated bathroom right here. So it's cozy but it has an updated shower, sliding glass. Nicely done, really. So we're, we're back into the kitchen area and you've got this. So we had a formal living room. This is like a den family room, could be a dining room. A huge brick hearth. This is a wood-burning stove. So I'm originally from New York. We used to have one of these. You plug it in. It's wood. You're burning wood in there. But you plug it in, and it has these, these fans that blow the heat out. And it can heat the whole entire house uh, when you get a good roaring fire going. And then here, that gate can come down, uh, but we're going to swing around. And you're going to see the addition onto the house. So here's the laundry room, extra storage up there. And then here's the addition, and this is just gorgeous. It's a sunroom, but it's, it's part of the living area. There's an unused mini split system to heat and cool it separately, wood tile floors. And this just looks on your own private oasis. Before we go out there, so here's a back door. This is under the carport. So you can just walk right in there. And this is a great pantry. There's the water well, so you don't have to worry about insulating it and wrapping pipes and everything. And you've got your own water supply. So if you want to be a little bit off grid and still close to town, there you go. Uh, but all these shelves, extra stores, food or tools or whatever you like. And just checking out. So right there, you have a garage. It's got electric, it's got AC, it's also a workshop. That's what we're gonna to go to next. So here we are, just a quick scope in the backyard. And we're under the covered patio. And there's some fencing. And so here's the side entrance. Now there's gonna be some stuff in here, no doubt. You know. But this is how big it is. You see the huge roll-up door? It's got the spray foam insulation. There's your AC. I mean, and it has another roll up door in the back. So if you need to roll out a mower or something like that, man, it is super convenient. This is Garage Plus, right? Garage Plus. And then over here, this is just a covered like little work area. Be outside, today's another beautiful day. So yeah, why not work outside? And we're on a little bit more than an acre worth of land. Let's take a look at the back of the house. So coming up on this cabana, there used to be a pool here. That's the old pool equipment. There's no more pool. And then here's, there's two bathrooms in the house. There's a third one out here. It's functional. 
it needs a little updating and so does the wall on the side you know this this could use some work for sure in here but it's still an extra space that you have and if you decide to put another pool an above ground pool you've got a changing room you got a garden So you have some fencing through it. It's not totally fenced. This area used to be fenced. You said there are dogs here, but they took it down. But the, the boundary of the property is fenced in the backyard. So it's easy enough to make an enclosure if you need to. It won't take a whole lot. And you have some fruit trees and vines and things like that. So really cool property. Come and check it out. Four four zero.